Hey everyone, I um, wanted to show you this kind of fun thing we did the other night. Uh, I had artist uh, Joe Brubaker in the studio. He's this amazing sculptor. And uh, there'll be, you know, look underneath the uh, post and you'll find a link for his website and the cool work he does. But anyway, he does a lot of um, sculpture and he glues things together and then he paints these sculptures. They're really beautiful. But what we did is we thought, well, let's combine it. Let's do some paintings and glue things on. So this is just like from the, the night we did it. But he brought all these little pieces of wood and stuff. And we used this um, glue guns, which are really cool, uh, to, uh, to glue on objects and kind of paint with it. But it was kind of challenging for me at first because it just took uh, me a while to get my head around it. Because when you glue something on, like, let me grab this one. Um, when you glue something on the picture like this, it's really, really different than these areas. It's so, so powerful, especially because it's dimensional. You know, like this is a piece of wood glued on here. And it becomes really distracting. And in my opinion, so much so that it's, it just feels foreign and doesn't feel integrated. So I was doing this and gluing things on and just struggling with it. And then it kind of dawned on me that, um, that if you take the things, <laughs> if you take the things like these are these objects that I glued on, I glued this on, I glued this on, I glued this on, all these things. And they were really, they were all different colors and they're really gross and kind of jarring to look at. But then you can see what I did is I minimized the strength of them by making them so that the values are really close. And you know, like how this big column integrates into this shape here because it's, um, it's, it's really this value contrast is making us notice visually the, the bar at the top more because our eyes go to where there's contrast, right? So by taking the things like these are already noticeable because they're dimensional. So we don't need to paint them a different color. And once I started doing that and putting lines across them to flatten it in, it becomes more interesting. We see it as a picture, and then we also see it as a sculpture, kind of simultaneously. They're, they're both equally strong. So for example, if I, if I went in here and I just eat, watch, if I just subtly paint this a different color, it will, it'll really notice. Do you see how like, you know, that, that becomes this, it's almost like a, you know, Pinocchio's, uh, <laughs> um, uh, the no, you know, like a clown's nose, it becomes really, really noticeable and distracting. Do you see how that kind of ruined it? And this is just barely different than the background, but because it's slightly darker and it's sitting and it's dimensional, it just has all kinds of power to be noticeable. And we got to tame it. We got to make them so they all fit together. Anyway, I just thought that was a really interesting idea and it relates to picture making, but it also kind of relates to sculpture and, uh, Anyway, leave your, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And uh, if it is Sunday for you, it's actually, this is, well, I'm not actually doing this on Sunday. I'm doing it on Tuesday. But um, if it is Sunday, I hope, I hope your day is going great. Okay, thanks.